Hey everybody, it's Allison, the Holistic Homesteader. I'm here with London. And we are making chicken paprika. <laughs> <laughs> chicken paprika for supper. So I thought I would share the recipe with you. What we have happening on our stove here is I have water coming to a boil for our egg noodles. And um, that is what our chicken paprika gets served over. There's Harper too. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> so down into this pot, I just have a little bit of avocado oil and I have my chicken breast all cleaned up. I have the fat cut off and I have it cut up into, you know, pretty big sized chunks. I think I got about like three pieces of chicken per breast. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my pot onto pretty high heat and I'm going to brown my chicken on both sides. I'm not going to add any salt or pepper at this point. I just want to brown off that chicken. And once I get to that point, I will show you the next step. I was able to fit most of my chicken down into my pan. I'm not going to crowd my pan any more than that. I'm going to just batch it out. I'm going to brown both sides of this chicken and as they get browned I'm going to pull them out and then I'll add those two breasts in. From there once our chicken is browned on both sides we're going to add in a one diced onion. I have a yellow onion. You can use a white onion too. We're going to add that down into our pan and we're going to brown that as well. I have my chicken browning. It's about ready to split. I haven't salted or peppered it yet. At this point, I'm going to salt and pepper this side now. I'm going to just season it generously to my taste. I have everything salted and peppered. Now I'm just going to flip over my chunks of meat. They're about brown. That one was pretty hard to pull up. I'm sorry it's loud. <laughs> I'm gonna give these about one more minute. They should be pretty easy to pull up. That's how you know your meat is properly browned, is if it comes away really easily, and that definitely is not coming away easily, so I'm gonna let this go for another minute. You can see the beautiful brown color we are getting on our chicken. I'm just gonna keep doing this with the last two pieces, and we're gonna add our onions down into our empty pot. I pulled the first batch of chicken out of my pan and I put the second batch in. We're going to brown those off. I just have this splatter guard on my pot because it's popping pretty good. Once those two pieces are browned on both sides, I'm going to take them out and I'm going to add in my chopped onion. So I just pulled my chicken out and I really don't like the way that pan looks. It looks burnt almost and I do not want to develop the rest of my chicken paprika in this pot. Normally my pot doesn't do that, but I think because I had my simmer burner on, I think this pot just got too hot. So that's a good lesson learned for me. I have another pot out here and I'm gonna just try to develop some flavor in the bottom of this pot. I have my, a few of the chicken breasts down in here with some more avocado oil. And I'm just gonna try to brown those off a little bit to develop some flavor down in the bottom of this pot, you want that to build your chicken paprika sauce with. So that's what we're doing now. Okay, so these have been in there for a few minutes, developing some kind of flavor down in the bottom of that pan. Hopefully I'm going to pull them out. I'm going to add in my onion. I'm going to let that brown for a minute. We have our onion down in the pan. There was enough avocado oil in there. If you need to add a little bit, go ahead and do so, just like a teaspoon should do ya. I'm gonna let those brown and soften a little bit. There's our chicken, it's just hanging out on the plate. This is gonna get dumped back in this pot when our onions are brown and softened. And you're gonna dump in this juice as well. You don't wanna toss that juice that's really flavorful. And it doesn't matter at this point if your chicken is cooked through or not. It's going to finish cooking in this pot. So once my onions are brown and softened, we're going to dump this plate of chicken back into this pot. Our chicken is down into our pot with our onions. And we have all that yummy liquid in there too. I'm just going to stir this around real quick. From here, I'm going to add a sprinkle of onion powder just to help give it a little bit extra onion flavor. 
We're going to hold off on adding any more salt and pepper. We'll wait until the end after this has simmered for a while and our chicken will be nice and soft and falling apart. We'll taste it then and see if we need more salt and pepper. So we're gonna sprinkle with some onion powder and then we're gonna add about two tablespoons of paprika, which seems like a lot, but that's the whole point of this. It is chicken paprika. So we added in a sprinkle of our onion powder. And now I'm going to do two palmfuls of paprika. We're gonna just sprinkle that all around. All right, there we have our chicken. Harper is opening some organic chicken bone broth. She's going to dump that entire 32 ounce box into this pot. And this is the easy part of this. This is, We are only, what time is it? Um, it's about 3.30. We're gonna let this simmer for a good hour, maybe an hour and a half, and just let the chicken cook in the paprika and the chicken bone broth. Let's go ahead and dump that in, Harper. Bone broth is really good for you. Ideally, you want to cover your chicken with the liquid. So if you don't have quite enough bone broth to cover all of your chicken, you want all of the chicken completely submerged, you can add a little bit of extra water to the pot as well. So I'm going to try to tuck that, that one guy in a little bit better and see if we can't cover him. All right, that's about as good as it's going to get. This is just going to hang out on a probably a um, low low-ish flame. It's just going to hang out and simmer for a good hour, hour and a half. Our chicken is totally done cooking. It's been simmering for about two hours. I pulled the chicken out and I just shredded the chicken up with two forks and then I just added it back into the liquid. So I'm going to add this into the liquid, into the liquid now. So before I add this chicken into the liquid, I'm going to add our last ingredient, and that is sour cream. Now, I'm not claiming this is a healthy meal. This is one of those comfort food kind of meals. Um, I have a 16 ounce container of sour cream. I'm going to add that down into my liquid and then just stir it really, really well. Then I will add the rest of my chicken in. This is as good as it really needs to be for right now. This is going to keep cooking for probably about 20 minutes or so. I have water with a little bit of pink Himalayan salt in it coming up to a boil. I'm going to cook some of those broad no yolk egg noodles with it and we're just going to serve this over top of it. So I'm going to take a teaspoon of this um, sauce. I'm going to taste it, make sure it has enough salt and flavor in it and then um, I'm gonna add my chicken down in and I will show you how this looks when it is all finished. Our chicken paprika sauce is still simmering in our pot. We have our shortcut noodles in there. You can serve this over any kind of pasta you want. That's just the kind that I had on hand. You could also serve this over like um, penne even, or spaghetti noodles, any kind of pasta you want. I'll show you what this looks like once it's all finished and plated. There it is. How's it look? Yummy. Good. How is it? It's delicious. 